Well, hello and welcome. Welcome your faces to a new day and a new vlog. And you catch me when I've just made my breakfast in the form of toast, 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 toast. Yes, so I am having toast for breakfast uh, this morning with a cup of tea. And I'm going to get myself into the room and watch a bit of YouTube, I think. Watch a bit of telly, watch a bit of YouTube. And then in about an hour's time, I'm back in the office upstairs for the final day of the week. Um, I'll say I'm up in the office in the other week because if you're brand new to this, I work from home. So my office is upstairs in the house. Um, yeah, so we're in about an hour's time. And then um, because it's Friday, it is the weekend. It's the weekend! And um, also because it's this Friday, next Monday is my week off. So starting next Monday is my week off. So next week I've got no work after today for a week. That makes sense? Yeah, that makes sense. So, I'm not gonna let my toast get cold like I normally do. So I'm gonna eat that now, have that, and then get into the office. And just like that, I am in the office and cracking on with a working day because it is half past two and I've got so much to do. Ha, <laughs> half past two, so much to do. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. But no, yeah, in all seriousness, I've got so much to do on my list before I finish for the holidays that I've just been cracking on with it. And that's why at this moment in time, it's half past two that I'm, um, filming the next clip, which is this clip. So yeah, a um, lot to do, but once it's all done, I can then relax for the holiday for the week because um, if it doesn't get done, one, to fair, it'll be okay. Like, it'll be able to, you know, finish up after when I get back, but I'd rather get it done now and feel, you know, proud of myself and feel like I've got it all ticked off rather than, you know, worrying about it slightly. So yeah, so it's all fun and games. I've got so much to do, so I'll see you half past four. Okay, so I'm sat here. Can I just put my shoes on? Um, oh, by the way, work's finished, woohoo! But I put my shoes on because um, I am going to pop out and go pick up the pump heater. So I'm going to quickly do that. And let me give you a bit of context. I don't know how to transition this. Honestly, I don't know how to transition this. How to even tell you what's gone off. But yeah, um, <sighs> let me just uh, spin you around one sec. Yeah, so um, basically the pump heater came back, uh, picked her up, and just gone out again. I don't know if I told you, but she's gone out um, with a friend uh, to a Taylor Swift thing or whatever it is in, in the city. So um, basically I've taken her to the train station and her and her mate to the train station and she's um, out there. So uh, that is pretty much what's happened. That's the context. And yeah, not a lot's really happened. But um, yeah, I'm making a cup of tea. I'm making a cup of tea because I am about to get myself back up into the office because I am playing Black Ops 6 Zombies um, with my friend John. Like I said in the other vlog, did I say in the other vlog? Oh, yesterday? No, other vlog, yeah, I think I said about playing Black Ops 6 Zombies and recording it and stuff. So, that's what I'm doing. But first I need to grab the milk and finish that cup of tea. And just like that, I am in the office with my cup of tea, John's in my headset, and we are playing Black Ops 6 Zombies, baby. How far are we going to get? Hopefully to round 50. That's our aim. That is our aim. So let's see how far we get. And now Black Ops 6 Zombies is done with my friend John. And we got to round 37. We didn't make it to 50, but we got to 37. And it's better and better each time we play it. But yeah, it is. And uh, we've been playing it for a while because it is now. Wait, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Wait, that. Yeah, yeah. You saw that. It was 10 past 12 at night. Um, yeah. So, um,. In all honesty, wait, it's too dark in it. One sec. Yeah, in all honesty, hours have flown past and I had fun playing it, but it was stressful and intense. And with my pain in my coccyx, it is starting to hurt again. So, without further ado, I'm going to put um, some toast in because I'm a bit peckish. I'm a bit peckish. Can we get some toast? And I think I'm going to watch Life of Tom's vlog. And as mentioned, I have my toast and I have Life of Tom on. <clears throat> and now it is the next day where you find me putting on my boots, ready to go for a dog walk. It is 20 past 11, I'm standing late because I had to pick up the pump cater in the early hours of the morning from the city centre. So it's about, what time did I pick up? It's about half past two I picked up. Half past two in the morning that is. So um, yeah, it's absolutely knackered this morning and I got up at nine o'clock. I know that's how I'm starting the day late, but I go for nine o'clock. Uh, FaceTime with mother, as we normally do on Saturday. And um, 
had my breakfast and then basically went in the bath to try and use my pain uh, in my cocktail region. Which to fit is doing a lot better today. It's doing a lot better. Every day now it seems to be getting better and better and better, which is good. Because um yeah, come, pick up. Um because um I don't know because that's how you how, uh, how it works, it heals, doesn't it? Heals. But yeah, um, so it's doing a lot better. Like I'm sat here now and it's not hurting and stuff. But like on the sofa, I can still feel it and like in my chair upstairs in my office I can still feel it a bit. But it's not as painful as it used to be. So um so yeah, um so it's pretty good. Um like that's getting better. I can walk the dog a lot more now. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my coat on and uh, hook the dog up to the lead, put around this on and stuff, and then get out and go for a walk. And just like that, I have got my coat on and my hat on, and I'm just about to. Oh, and the dog's hooked up to the lead, and we're just about to go out and uh, go for a nice walk, get some fresh air, and oh, I'm boiling because I've been in that hot bath, so it'd be good to cool down as well. But um, yeah, um, I'm wearing my hat because. One, it's not sunny, that's not the reason why I'm wearing it, but it's because my hair is an absolute mess at the minute, like, it needs, it needs cutting. But I'm going next week when I've got the week off, when it's quieter. So, yeah, kind of makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, 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 don't at me about my hair. So, yeah, going for a walk now. Yep. It's nice, chilly and fresh. So, yeah, good walk so far. Um, yeah, just what we needed. And now I am in the car because I'm going to pop to co-op and basically um, get a few bits of mobs like bread, milk and croissants and stuff like that. Just keep us ticking over till Tuesday when we go food shopping. So I'm going to head over there now. And just like that, we are back from the shop. I didn't vlog any of it because it was so busy that, yeah, to be honest, it felt a bit awkward to vlog in there. So I didn't want to do that. But yeah, um, and now, well, we got the few bits of mobs that we need, like lettuce and um, chocolate bars, um, lunch stuff, milk, bread, We've got everything that we needed. Um, but for lunch, we have got pot noodle for the pumpkinator, which is original color, original curry, original curry flavor. And I have got some pasta and sauce, cheese, leek, and ham flavor, which will suffice and do the job. And then for afters, we have got some dairy milk little bars. So overall, great success. So let's get these on the go because we are hungry. So I'm going to try and give you some context and try and transition this so it makes sense. It's now half past five and it's been about five hours since the last clip, since we had food. And uh, I'm in the office because I've been playing Black Ops 6 Zombies. And guess what? We're playing with my friend John and we got to round 40. So progress is where it's being, progress is being made. So yeah, we're slowly getting right to round 50. We'll get there next time. We'll get there next time. We will get there next time. But yeah, pretty good overall. So, with Black Ops 6 done, I'm in the kitchen because I'm making tea. Because it is that time where it's six o'clock and I'm making tea. And I'm making tea in the form of stuff and fried chicken steaks. Hold the press, I didn't ask the question of what's for tea, what's for tea, what's for tea tonight? And tonight we're having stuff and fried chicken, as I said. But yeah, um, so we're doing them as burgers. So we just have two burgers each because they are quite uh, filling. So yeah, all good in the herd. So before I show you the food is um, done and all that stuff, because it's still cooking in the oven, um, does anybody else have like, sort of like an area in the kitchen or on the side near the back door for like all recycle stuff that needs going out because uh, we always seem to do here and um, yeah it's really annoying but like I'm guessing everybody else is like there's no way of really doing it unless you have like two bins but then you can like take it out of the, the bin bag and put it into recycling so we always accumulate stuff there so yeah it feels like the back door is constantly like on a on a, on a cycle of being opened, like on a revolving door, um, of taking all stuff out to the recycling bin. It's ridiculous. But yeah, I'm gonna get this stuff out because uh, it just piles up and piles up. And... and now it's a hell of a lot clearer. But yeah, I just feel like it's constantly just like, there's always stuff out to go to the recycling bin, the recycling bin. If anybody has any like solutions or anything, give me a shout because uh, it's constant. It's just near the back door, that little area, you know, where you've got like cans or like uh, cardboard and stuff like that. Just, just on the side, you know, ready to go out. Because uh, 
it's good. To be fair, like, the garden's not that like, massively long, but like, it's a trick to keep bringing it up each time, so it's rather take all at once. But yeah, honestly, it's mental. But, eh, first world problems, I guess. But um, yeah, so uh, that's the recycling problem, and I'll show you the food once it's done. And before you know it, burgers are done. They're looking very tasty, they're looking very filling, and some fried chicken smell very, very good. And brioche buns to top it off. So it is all a great success. With food in hand, we are watching The Office. Oh, but sure. we are watching the no, new one, no, 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 uh, which no, is the Australian version you. one. And it's Jumping a bit different, from, but it's like um, the same sort of thing, like as the no, US no, office I, or what um, So yeah, it's not too bad so far. I it's not as good. And, and It'll never be as good because US one is brilliant, <gasps> but sort of it's decent and something to watch. It's a great success. And now that food is done and Basically, basically food done and um, we did watch The Office, the Australian one and to be honest with you, I'm not really like comparing it, I'm just seeing it as like a new like TV show rather than part of The Office thing, whatever. And that's how I'm looking at it, because I look at it like that, it's actually alright, it's decent, it's not the greatest, like it's not like, you know, I'm not going to go rave about it, but it is decent and it's pretty good, so um, yeah, uh, we'll be continuing watching that another time, but now, because we have had food and stuff, uh, there is quite a lot of washing up to do. So, without further ado, um, I'll be getting on with that. And um, yeah, we're going to do the classic Jordan and do the, here's the before and here is the after. And I feel a lot better now that that is washed up and clean and whatever, which means that I, wait, I can wake up in the morning now and there's not pots and pans and what have you, you know, waiting to be washed. It's all clean and I wake up to a clean kitchen. So great success. Well, hello and welcome pages to the next day. Um, where, like last night, basically after the washing up, um, not much happened really. Like, I just went upstairs and spent some time with my girlfriend, the pump here, and um, just chilled in bed and then went to sleep because I was absolutely knackered from the night before, which, as you know, I went and picked up the bunkinator early hours in the morning. So yeah, but this morning you find me um, in the process of making the most important meal of the day, which is breakfast. And we have got something good for breakfast. We have got croissants, croissants, croissants. And if you couldn't tell by that, croissants are my favourite for breakfast. I love it when like, you know, you go to like a hotel, so like Prang Moon or whatever, and then you have like the continental breakfast. Is it continental? Yeah. And um, they have like the croissant stuff. I usually have like three or four croissants because they are so good. But yeah, so we've got croissants, got tea, and I'm going to go watch some YouTube. And this morning, I am watching the Breaking Beard podcast. Is it Breaking Beard or Breaking Bread? I never said Breaking Beard, doesn't it? Breaking Beard. Yeah, Breaking Beard. I'm watching the Breaking Beard podcast. Which I used to watch um, the podcast on his other channel. Beard Meets Food, I think it's called, um, a while back, and sort of dwindled off a bit because I had other things to watch and a life, basically. I say life, I mean, like, I'm busy doing other things. And um, it popped up again. I thought, ooh, I'll get a watch, and I'm, I've got back into it again. So I'm giving it a watch this morning. Now, we are getting on with the day um, by getting things ready to put into the car. Well, getting things put in the car, ready to take to the tip. Things such as chairs and TVs. Because it's things that... You can't quite put into the normal waste bin, well, um, normal black bin and what have you. Because um, one, too big, and two, I don't think they accept that. So um, we're going to go take it to the tip. So um, now I am just going to sort the car out, put the seats down, put some blankets down so it don't ruin, like, scratch or ruin the car or what have you. And um, and we should be on our way. With the car packed, it's time to get to the tip. And we are back with an empty boot. Into the tip, and it was a great success. And what's this? Domino. Yeah, I don't know why there's a domino sat there, but like the adverts say, domino. And um, yeah, now that that task is done, uh, I think it's time for a well deserved cup of tea. Whilst um, I have the cup of tea, it is Remembrance Sunday, and um, we have got the Remembrance Sunday BBC coverage thing in London, I think it is. 
um, on the telly as well. As mentioned, the Remembrance Sunday is on the telly. And now it is that time where we're making food, making food for lunch. And uh, yeah, we don't have much in. Um, so we resort to the back of the cupboard in the form of, we well, can't see it, but pasta and some tuna. Yeah, so we're making a tuna mayo pasta for lunch. Um, quick, simple, something easy. And um, in all honesty, like, yeah, we don't really have that for lunch, but we haven't got much else. So uh, we're making deal until Tuesday when we go food shopping. And in what felt like no time whatsoever, the uh, pasta, the tuna mayo pasta is done. And with food done, it is now time for Newcastle versus Nottingham Forest. So yeah, hopefully we can win, but I've got a bit of a dilemma because in my FPL team, I've got Chris Wood, if you know what FPL is, I've got Chris Wood as my captain, but he plays for Nottingham Forest, and I want Newcastle to win. So hopefully, the way around it is that Chris Wood scores one goal, and Newcastle will still win. So I'm thinking 2-1 to Newcastle, hopefully. But um, yeah, there's only one last thing to say, which is, come on Newcastle! one nil Stonegham Forest, 20 minutes in. <sighs> come on, Newcastle, come on. So it's half time and one nil Nottingham Forest. But um, in all honesty, how have we not got any of the fouls? Like, the amount of fouls that Nottingham Forest have put into us and none of it's gone our way is ridiculous. It probably needs looking at. But yeah, we've got the half. We've got the half. We've got another half to. Um, try and bring it back which i feel like we will I feel like we will 53 minutes in get in 1-1 one, one. come on newcastle he's the scored like oh get in i don't know where just well there's a corner but i don't know just ping pong off the post and then it went just oh get in oh get in jordan what a strike woohoo two on get in jordan just a nice whoa in he goes nice finish for getting who are the lads whoop whoop 82 minutes in and harvey Barnes has scored come on i've got harvey Barnes on my um fpl team points 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 um and he's come on the sub as well so points 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 come on three one okay so i've got the torch on so i'm gonna put it to the side so i don't blind myself but woohoo get in get in it is 3-1, 3-1 to Newcastle full time, and we absolutely dominated that game. Like the first, uh, I say dominated, it was a bit, you know, ping pong, you know, back and forth, back and forth. But as the game progressed, we uh, dominated that a bit more, and Harry Barnes should have got a second, but completely missed it. So yeah, uh, great result, great game, and uh, yeah, really good game. And to be fair, one of their players should have been sent off, uh, but it is what it is, and we won 3-1. And we go up in the Premier League, I think, uh, in the Premier League table. So I think we're now eighth, I think. But uh, yeah, great game and great result. Get in. Away the lads. And with the game finished, um, it is now four o'clock. Well, the game finished at just before four. So it's now four o'clock and I've got my coat on. I'm suiting the booter to come take in the dock for a walk before it gets that any darker. Meaning it's time to get that now. This is time when give it half an hour and it'll be dark. So, um gonna get out whilst it's still a bit light so i'm not gonna end up it's not like i'm scared of the dark i just rather not thanks so i'm gonna get out and get some fresh air and stretch my legs and now it is that time where we're making food and we're making food in the form of pizza and some garlic bread as well yeah so we're having pizza and garlic bread for tea and uh looks like the pumpkin eater is a little busy at the minute let's find out hello pumpkin eater what are we making? Uh, meat and use fondant. But we are baking. And usually when the pumpkin eater bakes, why are you using a scoop? You're using a scoopy doopy for the butter. Yeah. Very well. But yeah, so usually, as I say, usually when the pumpkin eater bakes, it is good. So, can't wait for this. What do you say to it? Great success. Great success. So, I've just cracked the code of what pumpkin eater is baking. I've been trying to guess what it is, I was like, cake, brownies, if I know if it's that, I need eggs, blah, blah, blah. I know it. Is it oh, what, the, what did I say? No, oh, cheesecake queen, you went, no. I know it. Oh, and she went, I'm adding ginger. And I went, gingerbread men, should we know gingerbread men? I went, it's shortbread, isn't it? And what was your face? So it is. 
It is. It is shortbread, but she still won't say, will you? It's definitely shortbread. Oh, and just like that, pizza and garlic bread is done. Doesn't look like loads, but it will suffice for tonight. Okay, so food was done ages ago, like ages ago, hours ago. And I've just been sat chill and watching a bit of telly and um, spending a bit of time with the pumpkinator. Um, and yeah, hours have passed. And, and honestly, like we watched, yeah, Christmas film was on, Elf was on. And Mrs. Doubtfire was on. And then Darts came on. And then I've just been trying to find something to watch. And um, I've realised it's Sunday and that the uh, NFL is on. So I'm watching the Eagles versus Dallas Cowboys. So, uh, yeah, it's not like an every week thing that I do this and watch it. But just because it was on and I've got nothing else to do or watch or whatever, I thought, you know what? I'm going to go to watch. There's something to put on in the background. And it's okay to watch, to be fair. It's quite interesting. No, no, I was going to say interesting. It's just... That thing you put in the background and you go, oh, all right, oh, oh, yeah, because I was like, because basically I watched the Steelers, not the full thing, but like the fourth uh, round, fourth round, fourth quarter of the Steelers versus the Washington, whatever it is, um, and basically the Washingtons were uh, winning, and then at the last second, Steelers took the win. So yeah, it was pretty interesting. So that's what I'm doing right now, as it is about, what time is it now? Half past nine? Yeah, half past nine. So I'm just chill watching this until I go upstairs into bed. Because I'm off this week. Have I told you that? I'm off this week. And now it is the next day where I've got to end this vlog because I'm editing it right now. So, um, yeah, without further ado, thank you for watching the vlog. Stick around. I'll see you in the next one. And like, subscribe and comment. Ding on the bell as well because then you know when my vlog goes live. And um, I'll see you in the next one. And John, this one's for you. Dun 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 dun